Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk a little bit about diagnosing periodontal disease. When a new patient comes to our office, the first thing we do is we take a slide or a sample from under their gum to see what's going on as far as infection is concerned. And basically, we look for parasites. They're called spinning rods, they're called gliding rods, they're called spirochetes, they're called amoeba, everybody hears the term amoeba, trichomonads. Uh, we also will see things like plaque, blood cells, skin cells. Well, these are normal. We see these all the time. We're not concerned about them. They're not an indication of pathology necessarily, and they're not active. They don't move around. Well, if these things are there, they will be moving. These are living creatures that actually will be spinning or wiggling or oozing around. And if we see these, then we know that gum disease is present. Here's an image of a slide. You can see amoeba. Uh, that's that oozing kind of organism. You can see the spirochetes. Uh, you can see gliding and spinning rods. These are the kinds of things that we look for, and there are even some that we don't know the names of, but anything that's moving under its own power is not healthy, should not be there, and we wanna make sure that virtually all of those are gone. And here's a slide where we see virtually none of those kinds of things present moving around under their own power. There should be no bleeding, and then it's up to the patient. We'll teach them how to take care of their mouse to prevent reinfection but then the burden is up to the patient to make sure they do what they're supposed to do, and then we like to see them periodically to make sure reinfection isn't occurring. And actually, there are bacteria called Porphyromonas gingivalis and others that we can't see, but when we, know the, when we see these, we know those are present also. So it's very important to eliminate these organisms, these parasites, because if we can make sure these are gone, we can make pretty sure that the gum disease is gone and the bone loss will stop. But let's not just talk about gum disease and bone loss, because these days I am equally and maybe more concerned about the systemic effects. Gum disease is now very, very, very strongly linked to Alzheimer's disease, not just as a link, but in a recent study, if a couple of months ago, they think it may be a causative factor, an initiating factor. Now, the Alzheimer's disease may take 20 or 30 years to show itself, but it may start with these bacteria, these PG bacteria, that may be an initiating factor. Also, lung cancer, recent study from Tufts University shows increased risk of lung cancer, many other cancers, certainly heart disease, stroke, diabetes for sure. Every patient that we have that has diabetes that we treat, their blood sugar always improves, always gets better. And now also there's a lot of evidence. There's a very significant increase in the risk of pancreatic cancer, kidney problems. You name the systemic disease and almost all of them you're at increased risk for if you have gum disease and these parasites. So this is my life goal, to eliminate gum disease in every human being in the world, basically. <laughs> of course, I can't do that, but ideally I would like to see that happen. I would like to have nobody having any of these parasites in their mouth. So more than ever, more than ever, have a healthy mouth. If you have a healthy mouth, your body will definitely be healthier. So we love questions, we love comments, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and just take care of yourself and have a great day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.